So as you may or may not know, El Salvador has accepted Bitcoin as legal tender throughout the country on a government level. Here we have, uh, you know, roughly one fifth of businesses in El Salvador now accepting Bitcoin as well. Currently looking at Bitcoin here, it would appear under the influence of the sell for and heck ever since the 8th of April. And we've been saved from, uh, you know, just over 10% in downside that has followed. And so with bearish robo advisors present, we do anticipate continued interaction toward my support level. $34,655 per Bitcoin is where we are, uh, you know, okay with in any sort of downside here. It would not be impossible for us to interact with my support level and, uh, you know, uh, perhaps solidify a third bullish interaction with it. We've experienced one in January, again in February, uh, you know, missed out uh, in March. Uh, we don't believe we will likely see that level in April, though, uh, you know, within the next couple of months here, uh, we may interact uh, downward still as long as bearish robos are present we need two of our chosen three robo advisors becoming bullish the only two of our chosen three that can be the uh buy four and moon need to return for us to become more uh, you know comfortably short-term bullish on uh, bitcoin gains here we go with the flow of crypto and watch out for engineering robo we invest 20 percent at support 30% when daily candles open and close above the descending trend line, which will be revisualized when necessary. And 50% is invested based on engineering robo. And uh, right now, we just need the return of bullish parameters to be met here, potentially an instance similar to the end of July. With uh, bullish robo advisors, we saw 50% in gains over the following month. And uh, bearish parameters met, save you from a crippling, uh, you know, over 11% in downside bullish robos throughout October, allowed for 40% in gains over that following month, and the uh, sell for and heck combination met in November, saved you from the 41% uh, in downside that followed. And so ever since the beginning of the year, we've been bouncing up, down, and around off of support, creating resistance, uh, looking for the uh, you know final stages of this potential reversal. Uh, phase of sideways here. In my opinion, I do believe a longer term uptrend is intact, though in the immediate short term, it would appear, uh, you know, continued fear, uncertainty and doubt uh, will be the unnecessary evil here to shake any and everybody out. But with all of this uh, institutional activity for uh, cryptocurrency and blockchain technology overall, I find it very difficult to be bearish on the space. But let me know down below your thoughts on Bitcoin and crypto. Uh, so Bitcoin is gaining ground compared to other payment methods in El Salvador. Months after Bitcoin became legal tender, a study conducted by the National Bureau of Economic Research shows that 20% of businesses have started to accept Bitcoin as a payment method. According to the report, users who have downloaded the government-backed Chivo wallet have decreased their use of cash by 10%, while their net use of debit cards has been reduced by 11%. After the Bitcoin law was enacted, an Italian couple tried to go to El Salvador for 45 days while using only Bitcoin as their means of payment, the couple found that many places such as McDonald's and Starbucks already accept Bitcoin. However, they also still faced vendors that were not yet familiar with the cryptocurrency. Uh, then we have the article mentioning uh, lastly here. Meanwhile, the Central African Republic has recently adopted Bitcoin as legal tender. With this, the nation's residents are legally allowed to use Bitcoin in the same way alongside the country's traditional currency. Apart from this, the African country also established a regulatory framework for crypto use. So, uh, you know, in my opinion... Still, uh, yet another factor uh, contributing to why I find it very difficult to be, uh, you know, bearish on cryptocurrency and blockchain technology during times of downside and extreme fear, everyone getting uh, shaken around by, uh, you know, 
uh, volatility and price manipulation. I do believe, uh, you know, the whole space and sector is uh, making some big moves at the moment. And with all of these uh, governing bodies getting involved in, uh, you know, adopting and accepting Bitcoin payments, and when with these multi-billion dollar conglomerates getting involved in blockchain technology as well, um, you know, whether it be direct Bitcoin accumulation, interest in NFTs, the metaverse, Web3, or, uh, you know, accepting Bitcoin as payment. I do find all of those aspects to be very bullish for a longer term uptrend uh, in play. But we go with the flow of crypto. Let me know down below your thoughts on this article. The buy for moon and super robo advisors here interacting with Litecoin at the moment bearish parameters have been met and we've been uh, you know out of the market here reduced our position relative to the sell for and heck ever since the 8th of April and we've been saved from over 12% in downside that has occurred uh, at the moment resistance is overhead $114 uh, per Litecoin will be a significant level of resistance waiting for us once we get to it. We need daily candles opening and closing above it to reconfirm it as support. The strongest horizontal level of support technically at the moment here waiting for us in any sort of continued downside is going to be $82.20 per Litecoin. So we always go with the flow of crypto. We invest 20% at support, 50% based on engineering robo, and 30% when we open and close above the soon to be revisualized descending trend line. So that's how we go with the flow of crypto with this strategy, trading more tactically. Bullish parameters met back in July, um, allowed you to experience uh, up to 64% in gains, trading Litecoin and bullish parameters met, saved you from 20% in downside. We have another instance of upside after bullish robos toward my resistance there. 56% in gains in the following month. And then uh, bearish robo advisors saved you from a very dramatic correction that followed. 52% in downside between November of last year into January of this year after the sell for and heck were confirmed. We also had that super sell uh, as well suggesting you know some dramatic downside may follow there the fear zone still suggesting a very bullish uh, price level to be considering accumulating bitcoin in the long term would be near the thirty six thousand three hundred dollar level fomo zone suggesting a potential uh you know market top for this bull run if you will to be near the one hundred and eighty one thousand dollar level those are going to be uh, you know, two very bullish uh, prices here, two very interesting prices. I do believe we will, uh, you know, likely see interaction with another interaction with the fear zone before we make our way to the FOMO zone would be uh, bullish in my opinion. Uh, perhaps the final most dramatic buying opportunity for us after this year plus of sideways before we continue our way upward. I very much suspect an uptrend to be intact with the, uh, you know, highs set throughout 2021. The lows set as well. A higher high, higher low type strategy would uh, suggest here that an uptrend is likely to continue uh, based on current price levels. We are at the moment solidifying the third higher low in this uh, you know year plus of sideways here. And so, if we were to further solidify and finally confirm this uh, you know uh, bottom here then we can uh, continue our euphoric upward trajectory to the six-figure levels. You want to be heavily considering taking profit when the market is under extreme FOMO and, uh, you know, be accumulating during times of extreme fear here, grabbing your heavily discounted digital assets. And uh, as I mentioned, heavily considering taking profit on all of your gains once everyone else has caught on and are buying the top. But... We always go with the flow of crypto. Uh, it's fun, nice, nice and fun to have emotions and feelings and opinions. And we all know if you're following the channel, it is uh, uh, very difficult for me to be bearish on these space. It's going to take some, uh, you know, far more dramatic price action. Uh, but at the moment, in the immediate short term here, any sort of continued sideways uh, that we do undergo will just be, uh, in my opinion, healthier for the still longer term uptrend intact. But thank you so much for hearing my analysis and tune in for the next one.